Salem City Council members want to do something about the vacant properties in the city. The downtown area has more than two dozen empty buildings and the neighborhoods are even worse. 27 First News reporter Lindsay Watson was at a council committee meeting tonight. She joins us now with the details. It's new at 11. Well, tonight the Rules and Ordinance Committee talked about the necessary changes that need to be made to spruce up the city's vacant and rundown buildings. The committee is using the city of Painesville's vacant property registration program as a model. And city officials say it's a law that needs to be mandated and reinforced. During the special committee meeting, council members once again looked at a vacant building ordinance for both commercial and residential properties. It's not just in our downtown, it's in our neighborhoods. We have a lot of residences that are sitting vacant where the owners aren't trying to sell them, aren't trying to rent them, they're just letting them fall to pieces. They're now looking to talk with housing inspectors and the fire department to reach an agreement on how to fix up the rundown homes and businesses. If it's more expensive for them to let their houses go to pot and just generally bring the property values down, then maybe they'll fix them up or sell them to someone who will. City officials say the town is in desperate need of this law as over 30 buildings are currently sitting empty in downtown alone. And that's just in our town center. That's not in our, that's not including what's in our residential areas. And that's a big, big, big issue. The ordinance would essentially include a fine for the owner of the building after it sat empty for a period of 90 days. The amount of the fine wasn't talked about. It's ways that we can encourage people to attempt to sell their buildings if they're not going to use them or to fix them up and, you know, just really give them the push in the right direction. Well, this committee plans to meet again on July 18th. Council members hope that by that time they'll be able to put the bill on paper and call it law. Reporting live in the studio tonight, Lindsay Watson, 27 First News at 11.